after 15 years of being heavy on Samsung, can I keep it real with y'all for a second? I'm getting tired of where they going with this. So you want to know what triggered this video? The news that I heard that Samsung is actually dropping their rotating bezel smartwatches and going back to these days where we had the gears. They want to drop one of their most innovative things that they've ever done just to go back to a square smartwatch like we had with the original Galaxy Gear and we got with the Gear 2. Some folks are ecstatic about it. And then there's some folks like me where I'm like, that's some of the dumbest shit I don't ever heard. And you wanna know why? Everybody complained that with a circular smartwatch, you can't read as much text and stuff like that like as you can with a regular square watch. But Samsung actually solved that with the rotating bezel. So Samsung got smart about it, right? They said, all right, you can't read as much stuff as you can with a square watch. I right, bet, let's go ahead and hook you up real quick. And then they invented this. As far as I know, there's no other smartwatch that actually came out like that with a rotating bezel on, like, a, like I said, a smartwatch. Now on a regular watch, you're gonna see that. But on a smartwatch, I think Samsung was first today. And then it was at that point, we came from the Gear S over here, which now be it, it was a pretty dope watch. I'm not gonna lie to a Gear S2. And that was actually my first ever Samsung smartwatch, I think. And actually, no, it wasn't. But this smartwatch over here is what changed it for me with smartwatches, bro. Like, this made me wear my smartwatch every single day. This, I did not wear every single day. It was a cool watch, but like, this over here was next level, bro. I'm telling you. Like, my Gear S2 Classic, I got over here, and it still works to this day, as, I, as you can see with the light right there. So we got Samsung Gear S2 over here, and like, it still got no issues with it. Like, the battery life is bad, but at the same time, though, like, I can still pair it up and it still work fine but yeah as you can see right here man we got that rotating bezel like we had this for years now so the fact that they want to drop the rotating bezel now it just really pissed me off and that just really made me want to make this video now and i've been thinking about this for a minute now i've been thinking about making this video for a little bit now but that's what made me trigger it right there with the watches now y'all might have heard the news recently that apple actually beat out samsung for the first time in i don't know how long in global sales and I even heard in South Korea, in Samsung's own base, people are going to iPhones now. And you want to know why Samsung's going that way? Because of that bogus ass T-Move version of DJ Code that we got right now for a Samsung CEO. I think ever since that man became empowered, that's when Samsung really started going down here for real. Cause like, think about it. I think the Galaxy Fold and the S10 and all that, which people were saying like were some of Samsung's best phones ever. I think DJ Code was behind all that and then he left. And then we got the S20, which was definitely nowhere near as hype as the S10 was. Like even if you watch my review on the S10, I said that thing was dope. I said the S10 was was probably Samsung's best phone ever made. And then we got the S20 and I was like, all right, it's cool, 100 times zoom, I guess. But it was just missing whatever the S10 had, man, and the Note 10 and all that stuff. DJ Co was behind all that. And like I said, we had the Galaxy Fold over there, which was Samsung's first ever foldable phone, and they've been teasing it for a minute. So we got the first ever foldable phone from DJ Co. So you kind of see a pattern right there, right? Like we had the Note 9 and all that. All this dope stuff from Samsung. And now here we is with the S20, we got the S21, we got the Fold 5, which is a dope phone. But at the same time, though, like, they plateaued. My camera actually died in my battery. Probably because Samsung don't want me to talk about them right now. But look, bro, I'm finna talk my shit, man. I gotta say what I gotta say. If this ruins any potential sponsorship or partnership with Samsung in the future, so be it. Fuck it. I don't care, man. Because I'm so tired of the direction that Samsung is going nowadays, man. Like, they just feel like they just copying everybody, especially Apple these days. You know how much it hurts for me to say that, bro? Like, I mean, Samsung is still making dope stuff, right? Like, they got the Galaxy Book 4, right? I want that bad. The Tab S9. I love my Tab S9. And I think, like, the Tab S now, like, got way better than they were before. And I'm just deep in the Samsung ecosystem. But come on, bro. You can't deny that before DJ... Oh, I'm sorry. After DJ Cole, after DJ Cole left, things at Samsung just got worse. And I am the Samsung Knight. I know everything about Samsung, and y'all know me, right? Like, look at my channel. I'm not gonna lie, it's just embarrassing at this point. I don't want a square Galaxy watch. I didn't even want Android or Wear OS on there. I wanted to stick with Tizen. I'm pretty sure DJ Cole wasn't even behind the switch back to Wear OS, because I would have definitely preferred Tizen. That's why I still got this. So if you look at this right here, this is actually the original Galaxy watch. So I don't got like a watch for or watch five or watch six or whatever right now even though i was thinking about it because i like tyson also like i ain't really got a reason to upgrade my smartwatches like that all the time so like that's why i feel like i was just chilling with this but i'm just saying bro i got my original galaxy fold upstairs and i should have grabbed it but like i got my fold five and like from the fold four and even the fold three 
even the 4-2, it was not that big of a difference, in my humble opinion. I feel like that DJ Cole was the Steve Jobs of Samsung, like just keeping it a book. Because we got all this innovative stuff, we got all the stuff that people from Samsung, like the Samsung fans actually wanted. We got that and then they was doing a lot better than they is now. Because DJ Cole held down that position of Samsung staying on top even over Apple and then now he, you see where we at now. Like bro, who would have known that the Samsung dude will be right here talking to you with an iPhone 15 Pro that I bought with my own debit card like I ain't paying no credit card nothing like that like who would have known the Samsung dude that you seen like back in 2018 2019 like if you look at my older videos like I am nowhere near like what I am right now who would have known that I would be sitting here right now with an iPhone 15 Pro that I bought from the Apple store with my debit card that is crazy. I've always had iPhones in the past, but I never use them like I do now because like Apple is on top of their game and Samsung, like look at this. So Apple is on top of their game when Samsung is down on their game. That's how I see it right now. And that's why I've been kind of debating going to the iPhone. Like I'm not even gonna hold you. Now there is other phones I was thinking about switching to. Like I got the OnePlus 12 over here and this thing been a dope phone for sure. Like I love this thing. I got the Pixel over there obviously too, but I think I like the OnePlus more. But like the foldable phone five over here is cool and it's still like the best foldable phone in the market I feel like but at the same time though I feel like Samsung is just they not there like they just pushing out a new phone just because the only thing I'm really feeling about Samsung right now is they TVs, they Galaxy tabs, and I feel like probably they Galaxy books, and that's it. They phones, they bread and butter, that's not really where they hitting right now. Like the A54 was cool, I guess, too, but like I feel like their flagship phones, the S24, same exact thing as the S23, same exact thing as the S22. Probably the same exact thing as the S21. But if you look at the S10, the S9, the S8, like they were all dope phones that I couldn't wait to get my hands on, bro. Like I was geeking. Nowadays, I'm like, okay, I guess I'll get the phone whenever I get it. Like the S24, I still don't got that thing yet. And you wanna know why? Cause I had the S23 and that was the same exact thing as the S24. I know if you watch all the YouTubers reviews, they'd be like, yeah, the battery life's better, like all that stuff, right? But like at the same time though, put the phones together. They basically the same exact thing still. Oh, wow, you have Galaxy AI. Bam, who gives a fuck? Whoop the damn dude, bro. Like, Galaxy AI. I can go ahead and use my S Pen to circle around and do the circle to search with Google, which you can do with a Pixel. I'm just saying, bro. Like, Samsung is really, like, I, I can't do it with Samsung no more, bro. For right now, I'm still using my Fold 5, but Samsung is on thin ice. I can't even hold you. Now, I still don't want to get rid of my Galaxy Tab, all right? I still don't want to get rid of this thing because my Galaxy Tab is so dope with Samsung Dex, but I feel like that team move DJ Cole is going to screw this up somehow too, so I don't know, man. But I feel like when you're starting to lose on your own home turf, like if you look at the South Korea videos, like Samsung is actually like a big contributor to their whole economy, man. Because Samsung ain't just phones. They got ships. They got their own healthcare. They got a lot of stuff going on over there in Korea. But if they keep fucking up samsung you gonna lose your spot for real and even lose your spot with me and that was my rant i can't be going on with this too long man so i appreciate y'all for coming through though and hopefully like do y'all feel like how i feel let me know in the comments below because i need to hear that and samsung nights be with me Put your bias aside for a second. Put your fanboyism to the side for a second, man. You cannot lie. Samsung just really ain't where they used to be with their phones anymore and just some of their devices in general. Like Samsung, I don't know what they doing, man. They just shooting themselves in the foot. And like I said, Samsung, keep it up, man. And y'all gonna find people like me going over to Apple. Like, yeah, I see it a lot nowadays. But with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all for coming through. So if you like this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. Go and follow me my social media, Eddie Centic on Instagram and X and Facebook, but Instagram and X are most active. And even though I got my beef for Samsung, I still got more videos coming up soon. So stay tuned because I actually ordered the Bixby speaker and I will be doing the video on that. But yeah, just know Samsung's on thin nights with me, man. And I've been doing Samsung content. And like that's basically why, why my channel is up here right now. Look at all my look at all my views, man. A lot of them come from Samsung videos. Like that's just how it is. Everybody know me as a Samsung dude, right? I love Samsung products, but if they piss me off, I'm gonna talk about it. And I'm gonna talk my shit about Samsung if it ain't going right. Cause Samsung needs some tough love right now. But with that being said, man, I'm gonna go and get about here. So y'all be smooth. I'll see you in the next one then. Peace out.